So I'm gonna talk you through the score model. The headaches aren't just coming on from stress or anything, the cause of this. So when you go through this thing, scores, so you've got symptoms, you've got the cause. So find the cause here. So when I was depressed, what was the cause? So for my depression, I wanted to like come out of that. I wanted to get better stuff. So we can tell the algorithms to come here. Tell the algorithms that you need to be here to get positivity, to make this life better. So we can all help each other as human beings in a positive space. We can share our challenges and we can share our wins. Inspiration Nation, hello. Welcome to another week on the podcast. As you can see, I am alone this week. Uh, Lee and Ryan can't make it due to other work commitments and me changing the day when we record it. So it's all on me. Um, so I'm just here with my faithful friend TikTok and all the people in my TikTok live today. I appreciate you all for joining and really adding value. I've been so impressed with my TikTok this week. People have been joining, sharing the love, liking, giving gifts, all sorts of amazing stuff has been happening in the podcast this week. And so I really appreciate you. Um, so much love to Lee and Ryan. I cannot make it this week. Um, so I'm sending my love to them as well. Um, and thank you, TikTok, for co-hosting with me today. So I really, really appreciate you. So don't forget to ask questions and I'll go through today's podcast. So you can find us in the usual places. You can find us at listen to IN on Twitter. You can find us there. So uh, Lee runs that account. So listen to IN on Twitter. You can find him there. Um, for me, I'm Jose Noya, Inspiration Nation. Just type that into Google and you'll find it everywhere. YouTube, everywhere. If you're on TikTok, if you're, if you're watching this on TikTok, go to the link in the bio. You'll find everything in there um, to do with, with Inspiration Nation. Also, for Instagram, you'll find, if you go to my bio, the links to everything. I've got a link tree which links to absolutely everything Inspiration Nation. So you can find everything there. So this is where Lee um, usually goes, Where's who's got the subject today? Well, the subject today, let's spin the wheel. Well, it's got to be me. <laughs> it's got to be me. So, um, so today, what I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about something that I'm really passionate about, um, something that helped me through my depression massively. Um, so it's coaching. Um, I, as you guys know, if you go to episode one of the podcast, I tell my story about how I suffer with depression, and it was very, very challenging. Um, so, you know, it, as well as counselling, coaching really helped me. Self development helped me get to this place where I'm now recording live on my own, live on TikTok with a video. And if you'd asked me that when I suffered from, from from my depression about 20 years ago, right, right now. I would have said, you're absolutely crazy. You're a crazy, crazy person. Mobo's joined. Thank you so much for Bo, Mo, uh, joining Mobo. Thanks for Kimberly for joining. Thanks for Clarky Official for joining. I'll give us a shout out on, on, on my regulars. My regulars come to the TikToks and give them a shout out. So that's really why I'm doing this. And I want to share with you something, a coaching model, which is um, something that uh, is really passionate. So it's, it's a book you can get. And one of these books I've got, I've got so many books. I'm going to just show you what it is. And the book is called you could be coaching with NLP for dummies. I'll just show you TikTok as well. Um, and the model I want to use, a model is a, it's a coaching model, which, oh, thank you so much. I've just had a rose from um, You Have Greasy. Thank you so much for the rose. I appreciate the rose. Getting gifts away on TikTok. So this must be adding value to the, to the guy. So TikTok's my co-host today. So I'm going to talk you through the score model. Um, so score, it's like score. So I'm going to, I'm going to title this, this video, How to Score. Just don't so get people watching the video, right? Because when you say how to score, people are going to think it's all sorts of things. But that's going to be my tag to get people in, to get people into self-development, right? I want people to grow. I want people to be amazing. And that means you on TikTok. That means you listening to this right now or watching this wherever you are. Um, so score, you spell score. So S-C-O-R-E, right? So let's start with it. So S stands for symptoms, right? So score um, is really a model you use when, you, when you're, you've you got symptoms of something, but you don't know what's causing the issue, right? And I'm going to give you an example as we go through the model. So let's think of symptoms. So you go to the doctor with a symptom, right? Um, say, for instance, it could be, hey, I'm getting headaches. I'm getting headaches, right? So the symptoms are the headaches. Oh, do you know what? I'm getting headaches, man. Where's it coming from, right? So usually people present with a symptom. Like we do, like, oh, I just feel, I'm not feeling it today, right? So the symptoms and those when you're coaching, you're looking for symptoms. So you want to get as many of those out. So you know, I've got a headache, you know, okay, tell me more about that. Yeah, do you know what? I've just been at the weekends. It's been crazy. Um, you know, I've been getting headaches. I don't know what it's about. So that's when you go to the doctor, right? You go to that and you try and find out what that is. Um, so that could be a symptom. So that's, that's your symptoms. People are going to start telling almost like the part where they're getting it all out. 
Um, and I would do that as well when I'd have my depression or just, you know, I just, um, you know, I get my depression and, you know, I just tell, I just feel terrible, horrendous. So as we go through this model, I'll explain each bit of the step of the way. So symptoms. So that's what it is. So if I was, when I was depressed, um, it would be things I feel very sad. Um, I don't know what to do. Um, I don't want to be here anymore. So that would be what we'd be talking about in that part of the model. So that's your symptom. So if you write this out, so on TikTok, if you want to write this out on a piece of paper, this would be really helpful. So, so to write out score, S-C-O-R-E, write it down left hand side, just type S for symptom, just do what I said right there and that'd be, you'd be perfect on that. Um, so um, the next thing we're going to get the cause. So next we're trying to find the cause. So you might ask a coaching question, so like, okay, so talk to me what you think the cause might be. What, what do you think is causing it? So I don't really know. I just feel very sad all the time. Okay, talk me through what you do. Because you said at the weekend that you feel, you know, that you, um, you know, because we're, talk we're talking about, it could be a lot of things, but we're talking about maybe the headaches you get in the weekend, right? And I said, yeah, well, I'll, you know, I'm just doing the weekend. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just, it's just really difficult. Um, yeah, I've been just doing the usual stuff, uh, you know, be in the garden, doing a bit of decorating. Oh, a bit of decorating. Talk, talk me about decorating. No, it's painting and all that sort of stuff. Um, so, okay. What's going on there? Um, so, what do you think's going on, right? So, usually I just go potting about the house, do a bit of gardening or whatever, but I'm getting headaches. You know, what's going on? So, the whole point of this part, thank you so much, Jan, for being my number one top viewer. Thank you so much. And you sent a rose. Thank you so much. The whole point of the, of the cause is to get to the root cause of what's going on. So, as you notice, we're having that conversation. It's difficult to do it, like, just between me and no, no sort of voices. You found that I was doing decorating. So what was I doing decorating? Okay, I was using paint. So the cause of this, so the headaches aren't just coming on from stress or anything. The cause of this, to wrap it in a nutshell, really was the painting, not the headaches of just watching TV or whatever. It's just, it was the painting that was causing it. Um, so that's really what that was. So when you go through this thing, scores, so you've got symptoms, you've got the cause. So find the cause here. So when I was depressed, what was the cause? My cause, when I was depressed was I had no purpose. I didn't know what I was on this planet to do, right? So for me, it was, you know, I had to do a lot of self-work through counseling and doing coaching. I had to do a lot of work. Um, and so I had to find it and I have to find it through a difficult, difficult journey. And that was a lot of journaling. Uh, Mobo, thank you for the likes here, by the way. Likes going crazy up to 3.6K likes. So I do a lot of self-work. I had to find out what my core value was, inspiration. And all this would be to do with like, this is not necessarily this model, right? But this would be a model that help you find what's be causing the problems that are going on so you can start to do something about it. So let's go through that again. And then I'm gonna do a quick Q&A on my TikToks here as well in a moment. So we've done symptoms, we've done cause. We've got to find out what the cause is. The next one is outcome. So, you know, what, do we, what did I want to achieve? So for my depression, I wanted to like come out of that. I wanted to get better. But I did have an intrinsic want to get better. I felt very sad. I didn't want to be here, but I did feel very sad. Like a little bit like the, the, the example I gave you in terms of, you know, going to the doctors with a headache. You want to get rid of the headache. So the goal would be to get rid of the headache, right? And in that example, I gave about decorating, then we know that, you know, the decorating or the fumes from the paint was causing the headaches, right? So what is the desired goal to get rid of that? Okay. And for my depression, what would be that? It would be to, like, to find my purpose. What do I need to do? You know, how can I start doing things I enjoy? So that's my outcome. Don't want to be sad anymore. I want to get rid of their days. So the next one, so we've done symptom, cause, outcomes, SCO. So the next one is R for resource. So what do I need to help me? So if I was painting and decorating, you know, and I want to resolve these headaches, what things would I need? Right, I'd need to make sure I open all the windows. I need to make sure I have a mask on so I don't get the fumes coming in to cause the headaches, right? Um, so that's essentially what I need to do. So with my depression, what does the next steps I need to do? I need to be honest about my feelings. I need to start to do things that I enjoy. What could I do? Okay, and what do I enjoy doing? I like helping people. So for me, it would be to do things of service, um, to help people in my work or wherever, doing these TikToks, doing this um, this amazing podcast with all these lovely people here, right? Um, and so, you know, this is really what we're having, right? Um, and I've got a question here from Joe. Joe on TikTok and he says, I have my first boxing match today. Do you have any encouraging words? Do you like boxing? And how, I suppose the, the question for me is, um, what is it, what outcome do you want? Let's use score on this, Joe. Um, so you want encouraging words for yourself. How do you encourage yourself in those moments? What do you need? Is it music? What is it? So whatever it is, you learn to encourage yourself. 
be yourself. Why are you doing it? What's the reason you're boxing? That's what I encourage you to explore and then find a way to go, okay, how do I encourage yourself? For me, what works for me, and this is, this is a bit of mentorship, not coaching, is I like music. Music gets me going. Music gets me inspired. I have a routine where I have a bit of music in the morning. Um, I do all my daily chores and that gets me inspired. So I hope that helps for you there, Joe. So going back to the model, resource. So what do I need? I said I needed the mask. If I was depressed, I'd need to have some exercise about what do I want to do? What do I want my life to look like? You know, what would I want to be enjoying every day? And you know what? I love doing this. Love doing this with you guys on TikTok. Love doing this on the podcast um, here today with you. Um, so resources. What else do I need? I need time. I need to plan. So that's why I've got a journal. That's why I, do, I journal. So sometimes I don't use as much as I used to, but I do, I do it when I have issues and problems. I use it to get my thoughts out so I can do that. So that's another resource. So headaches, we've got the open the windows, right? If we're decorating, we've got to open the windows. We've got to put a mask on to protect some fumes, right? When depression, I've got to do some work. I've got to make sure I get my journal out. I've got to make some plans. I've got to do things I enjoy, i.e. this. Um, and that would be my resources, right? The last thing we've done is we've done symptoms, right? For S, we've done cause. Okay, what's the root cause of it? We've done outcome. What is it we want? What's the outcome we want from this conversation? What's the resource I need? What do I need to make this happen? And then lastly, the effect. Um, what would be the long-term effect of me reaching this goal, right? The long-term effect, if I've got depression, be me starting to journal and to find out what makes me tick. What's my purpose? And thank you so much. Someone just sent something on there. Sent Bernard Turner, just sent me a rose. Thank you so much. What is the long-term effects I want for my life? if I'm depressed or if I'm painting that room, what will be the long term effects? I don't want to get headaches anymore if I'm painting. So that's going to be good, right? So if I continue to use those resources like the mask and open the windows, I'm not going to get headaches. You prevent it, right? So in terms of my depression, what do I need to do? I need to make sure that my long term effects that I keep dialing to things that I enjoy, trying different things, helping people like I'm doing night today, revealing to you a coaching model that you can actually use on yourself. Um, you can use this on yourself, right? Um, so those are the effects. Now, the most important thing about a coaching session is this. We can have a lovely conversation. We've just had a, we've just said, I don't know. We've had 10 minutes, have we? I don't know how long we've been on here. Maybe we've had 10 minutes. But the most important thing we must do when we've had a conversation of coaching ourselves, actions, we need concrete actions. And they must be smart. So when I mean by smart, everyone's probably heard of it. Uh, you know, specific, measurable, Achievable, well, I like resourced and time bound. So you must have actions at the end of any conversation. Is it specific? Okay, so, right, we've got to start wearing masks, got to open the windows, we're going to get rid of the headache. If I'm depressed, I've got to start writing that journal and it's got to happen. And the next thing is I've got to make it so specific, right? Measured. Can I measure it right at the minute? No, but if I say I'm going to write in my journal, that's a measurement. I can write that. If I write measured, if I write a measure, if I write in my journal, that's a measure. I know I've done it, right? So I know I've done it. Um, is it achievable? Yes, I can get up my journal, I can go and get my mask, whatever it is, and I can write and I can see that I've done those things and is it measurable? Yes, because I can see it's done. So specific, measurable, achievable, definitely achievable. Is it resourced? Yes, I've got the resource. I've got my I've got my I've got my book, I've got my mask, I've got my windows, I've opened them up. So all this is resourced. It, you know, I've got all that need needed. And the most critical thing that people miss off is the time bound piece. So when are you gonna do it by? Right? When are you going to do it by? That's the most important. When are you going to do it by? So for me, you know, right, my journey could do that tomorrow. So when tomorrow? Right, I'm going to do it first thing in the morning. So make that easy for yourself, like Atomic Habits. If you're going to write in a journal, the most important thing is to have it make it easy for yourself. So put it by the side of your bed where you get up so you can get to it easily so you can make sure that you do it without any effort. It's there. So let you into a little secret. When I go running, the night before I go running, I actually put my clothes out. I put my clothes out the night before, so I don't have to think about it. Put my clothes on and go. I don't have to think about it. My brain hasn't got time to think about it. I'm just going to go. So if you struggle, if you struggle putting habits together, if you struggle, you know, put, you know, doing things that you don't want to make it as easy as possible for you to do. So that's what it is. So that's what I encourage you to do. Make it as possible. Put in the effort. So if you're struggling, like, like I think here, you know, David it needs you know he says he needs a job so what's the first step in finding a job what could be the first step you know what could be the first thing that you could do thank you Maurice for following thank you because Maurice has just followed me uh, Maurice 29 Fox and I'm going to say thank you for joining my my mission to 10,000 followers thank you thank you so much I appreciate you 
Also, David has followed me as well. David Durles has followed me, the host, as well. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, so it's so important. When we've got goals, like I want to find a job, what's the first smallest thing you can do? What you mustn't do is say, oh, I can't do it. It's someone else's responsibility. You are responsible for your life. The only person who's going to be able to do the things that you want to do is you. Yes, you get help from other people, um, you know, but that's the thing. Oh, on my road to on the road to 5K likes. Here we are, 4.4K likes. This is absolutely fantastic. Um, so Kimberly wants help with putting her shopping away. Yep, th this is it, right? People, people absolutely struggle by just taking the action. So make it small, make it achievable, so you can do it. So Maurice is going to book interviews. In fact, I've got to book an interview right after this. So I'm booking an interview right there. So I've got to, I've got to interview someone on the podcast. That's going to be happening. Um, I'm going to do it tomorrow. So I've got to send the invite tonight. That's my time back. That's my smart action. That's what I'm actually going to be doing after this podcast. When I've recorded, I'm going to be doing that right now. And so the other thing, talk about score and talk about actions, talk about coaching, is make time for it. How much time do you waste time doing things that aren't going towards your goals? How much time do we waste? You know, I'm guilty of it too. I'm not perfect. I'm still learning. But we've got to, so I could have gone, I could have gone tonight. I could have said, do you know what? Don't worry about it tonight. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to bother tonight. We're not going to bother record a podcast. It took effort for me to set this all up tonight, right? No Lee, no Ryan. I had to set up my microphone. I had to fill around with the technology, put my lights on. You know, it's a real, you know, it's, it's an effort. You have to put in the effort, right? Um, so, you know, that's the most important thing. Um, so, essentially, that's what I find missing. At the end of a decent conversation is actions. Now, don't make too many actions. I would say if you're struggling with something you want to achieve, then you need to just take the smallest actions possible. That's what you want, okay? That's what you want to do. Um, Sarah, Sarah, Tone, I love that. Like serotonin on TikTok says, line 80, I always try to say yes to things that are good for me, even when I don't feel like it. Absolutely. That's a really great lesson. Thank you for that. It's doing things you don't really want to, but you know they're good for you. It's such a good thing. Make you feel a little bit uncomfortable. Not too uncomfortable that you're going to panic, but just around, just about, just about enough uncomfortableness that makes you grow. Because we want to be in the stretch zone. It's, it's a very common thing. It's a very common thing that we want to stay comfortable, right? The brain wants to stay comfortable. And this is why this model of score is so important because, you know, when you ask the questions of yourself or if you're coaching someone else or you're coaching each other, you ask the questions in that score model. If you ask the questions, okay, like say for instance, okay, okay, what is your desired outcome? What do you want? What would be your long-term goal? Maybe 10 years or five years now from now. Where, where would you like your life to be? What a powerful question, right? Because when you dial it down, it could be a big goal, right? So for me, 10,000 followers, same, well, my goal is 10,000 followers, right? Right? You, you know, it won't happen unless I put it out there. It won't happen unless I do this with you guys on TikTok and on, you know, on Inspiration Nation podcast. It won't happen unless I put it out there and ask and actually do the actions, do the daily videos, do do my TikToks, do my Instagram, all that stuff. It won't happen unless people know about it. So that's why I'm in front of you, but I need your help, right? I can't do it alone. And if you think it's add value, then you're going to like it, right? If you don't, it won't, right? Kimberly says she needs to get a new cooker. What's the first step to get a new cooker, right? That's the thing. Dot down to the smallest thing. Maybe it's making some inquiries, right? But you've got to think of the action. I love this, by the way, guys. I love it. This um, TikTok hosting um, questions from the TikTok audience. Um, and I've got serotonin as well saying self-affirmation really keeps me staying active and I love that. Um, yeah, I did that. I used to listen to, um, there's some great YouTube um, affirmations. It's actually Jess, someone, oh, I can't remember her name, on you, but she's got affirmations that repeat. I love them and just put them on your, put them on your, um, on your headphones and listen to them. Um, they work for me. They may not like for you. Uh, may not be, oh, look at that. We've got one point my K lights from mobile on the show. But what I'd say, and it's five K lights, what I'd say, and going back to coaching, try things. Find out what works for you as a person. Mobo says exercise. Work, exercise works for me as well. Totally right. So I'm doing a bit of tennis. I'm also doing a bit of, um, what's the words? I'm also doing a bit of uh, running. I'm going running tomorrow. Um, so fantastic. Yeah, YouTube are some great ones. Yeah, absolutely, Serotonin. Absolutely. So you can get this for free. This doesn't cost you anything. This is free. Like, listen to this podcast, and when this goes back, you can do it for free. There's so much decent stuff out there. You just have to put the effort. And coaching is about actions and putting a timeline 
and committing to a timeline. Some of you might benefit from an accountability partner. We've talked about that on the podcast. Um, so if you go back in the archives, you'll see that. So there are tons and tons of things that we can all do um, to just keep going, you know, make this a great place to be. So I hope that's helped with SCORE. I hope that has helped um, in terms of, you know, the things that we can do. So remember, I was going to do a quick, a quick recap of the SCORE model. So, you know, people that are joining uh, may do it. So SCORE is, so SCORE is in SCORE a goal, S-C-O-R-E. So S stands for symptoms. What are the symptoms of the problem? C is cause, what the cause is, what's causing it. You need to ask questions of yourself. If you're doing it yourself, ask questions of yourself. What is really causing this? What, being honest with yourself about what is the actual cause of it rather than trying to, you know, sometimes we'll tend to want to blame and I did exactly the same. And sometimes I still don't got to bring myself back. You know, what do I need to do, right? So what are the causes? You know, re be really truthful and honest. And if you're coaching someone or someone's, you, you've got to get the honesty out. And that means trust. Um, and then outcome, what is it, what is, and be really specific with the outcome. So symptom, cause, and outcome, SCO, outcome. What is it, that, what, be really specific about what outcome you do want. You know, as I said before, my, my, my goal here is 10,000 followers here on TikTok, right? So really be specific. So you know you're heading towards it, right? You know you're making progress because humans need to make progress. We need to see that there's progress happening. If there's not, we get a bit disheartened. Sometimes it doesn't happen as quick as we want it, but there is, there is it that, that does make that progress right um and then we've got resources you know what do you need now what i would say don't say well i haven't got the resources that's an easy cop out what have you got right now that you could use so you're watching this on a on a on a on a, on a beautiful smartphone or computer you've got resources right there in front of you on your fingertips so always think of what you have what can you use what you have you know so use things like that and then you know, what's the desired effect? What are the feelings you want from the thing that you want to get? That's the effect. That's the E on the end of score. So what would be the long-term effect of you doing these things? And that was a recap of the score model that's used in coaching. And I hope that's really helped you. And I'm really passionate about this stuff. I love it. <clears throat> I used it a lot in leadership. I did leadership, of course. I'm very lucky to have my own role. Um, you know, so, you know, I'm very, very lucky about that. Kimberly says, your mum makes you angry. A, a beautiful thing to do with that is that what's the reason? that your mum makes you angry and detach, do not respond emotionally, try and leave a space so you can think about the reasons why that's the case and how you can pivot that to, to maybe make it. I don't know your specific situation, um, Kimberly, but you need to be able to detach so you can think clearly about what makes that happen and what can you do to control what you do in response to anything that makes you angry. We, instead of reacting, we can respond to things. We can control our emotions. We've just got to practice. Now, it doesn't always happen. I get triggered as well, just like you guys. Um, so, you know, that's that's so important. Um, Sarah Tony says, is the score model? No, it's not my own. It's a, it's a, it's a coaching model. Um, it's actually, just show you this, Sarah Tony, I showed it earlier, but it is um, NLP. Uh, NLP, coaching with NLP uh, for dummies. That's in the book. And it's a great model. If you type it into the internet, um, you know, you'll, you'll be able to do that. Um, but yeah, thank you for that. Um, so yeah. Um, so Mobo says, uh, doing stuff now will make it easier in the future. Hard process, but true, absolutely. Um, so do the stuff that you need to do so you can get to where you want to be, right? Um, I was, was it, I was doing, I was, I was uh, watching the hard part, hard, part, the We Do Hard Thing podcast with Mark Traeger. Um, and there was an excellent saying, I was just trying to remember, um, things don't just get, things don't get easier. They just get better. How good's that? Things don't get easier, they get better. They get better because you're taking actions, you know? Um, that's the really important thing. So don't think just because you're taking action, it's gonna get easier. It's gonna, it's gonna get better, you're gonna live. So let's take, for instance, you know, today, I didn't have Lee or Ryan today here, right? I could have easily taken the easy road and said, I'm not gonna bother tonight. You know, I just give myself a path. No, I did it, I set up all my stuff myself. I took the time. It doesn't get easier, it gets better. Since I've been on TikTok, the growth has been crazy. You guys have been amazing. Um, and you've been following and sharing and liking. And I've got the most growth on TikTok I've ever had across any social media platform. So I want to say thank you for that so much. I really mean it um, from the bottom of my heart. And you guys on YouTube, um, YouTube scores are going up through the roof. So I suppose it's bit time for a bit more shilling that Lee would usually do. So as I say, we've got the, we've got the shop. 
that supports us. So the shop is link in the bio on TikTok, any, any, wherever you find me on Instagram, my link in the bio has got my link tree, which has got a link to everything. We've got that and we do do mugs. So I'm just going to show the mugs. We've got mugs there, Inspiration Nation mugs. I'm doing a Lee here. We've got the t-shirts. I've actually got one on today called, I've, this one here has got, um, I don't, I no longer sound busy. I sound productive because always be productive. Um, so that's what, that's what it is. Um, so thank you, Kimberly for the love. I appreciate that as well. Um, so you guys that have been mentioned, you're on that. So we've got the shop, um, we've got the podcast download. Obviously that's all free. Um, obviously if you, if you buy merchandise, then that supports the podcast. Um, I'm not sure we had any sales in months. <laughs> if you do buy something, let us know. If you do buy something from the shop, let me know. If you post a video with it, tag me in it and I'll share it, right? If you do get any merchandise, I will retweet you on Twitter or whatever I do have to do on TikTok. I will mention you. Um, if you, I don't think I've seen anybody yet. I'm going to be honest. I don't think I've seen anyone yet buy any merchandise or let me know they bought any merchandise, but it'd be funny. The only people that bought merchandise at the minute is myself with this, uh, myself with the t-shirt and Lee, uh, we, and, uh, Ryan, um, we've all got a bit of merchandise, but if you do buy it, um, just let us know you buy it. It's the links in the bio. It's called the, it's called the inspiration nation shop. Uh, Kimberly's just asked. So if you go to the bio on the TikTok or any bio in many of my, in my, um, social media, you'll find it there. Even on YouTube, I've got it on there. So there you go. There's my shilling. So I'm just going to finish off a bit of Q&A from my audience. Um, so any other questions from TikTok? Um, I will take those questions. I've been answering as we go through. Um, Mo by the show just Sarah said, motivation creates action. In fact, I'd say, create, I'd say action creates motivation. I'll probably put it the other way. Because sometimes you just don't feel motivated, do we? We just don't feel motivated. But action, by taking actions and knowing that I've created that, I've done that action, creates momentum. Um, just recently on YouTube, um, I've been getting a lot more uh, subscribers. I've got my, I've got a lot more subscribers in the last month than I've ever had in the last few months. And that momentum is building on that. So that's why I'm doing more videos. I'm trying to do more, um, you know, uh, you know, more content, things like that. Uh, Kimberly asked me, did you drink? What do you mean, did I drink? Uh, I don't drink a lot. I do drink a little bit. I have been, I've given it up for, you know, I, I you know, uh, my mum passed away recently, as you guys may know, um, and I did go with a little bit of drinking at the weekends, and I've, I've tried to, I've, well, I've knocked that on the head now for a good month or so, or actually a few months now, because I was drinking at the weekend, and I stopped that, and I found I was putting on weight, and I didn't feel so great, um, so I've started to knock that on the head, so there's a bit of honesty for you there. You know, I'm not perfect, I'm not, um, and I'm still learning as well, but this is why doing these videos and doing these things, it reminds me that we've got to look after our heart set, We've got to look after our health set. We've got to look after our mindset. And I think this here is so important because it drives everything. Um, so really looking after this so we can really start to shape our lives as to where we want them to be. The only person that can help us is that, um, you know, and it's so difficult. Kimberly, I'll bless you for sharing that. You said an alcoholic. And um, now there's a guy that I think uh, might really help. And I don't know your personal situation, but Russell Brand is a recovering addict. Um, and he swears by alcoholics and in the 12 steps, I think it is, uh, might be worth checking out. Um, absolutely on that. So thank you so much. Um, will the, well, the will to get up is a short, yeah, absolutely. So getting up early in the morning is great. I mean, I used to struggle getting up in the morning. Um, it's very, very difficult. Um, but now I am get up, I get a bed early and I get up earlier. I don't, I used to get up, I, I try and experiment with four or five in the morning, but now I'll probably get up at six o'clock. Um, that's probably my usual time that I get up. Um, and I'll, you know, I'll get up and I'll start the day with making the bed. I'll start, you know, making the bed. Um, so great. Kimberly, that's fantastic. Oh, Kimberly, it's so good to say you're a turning point. Oh, fantastic. Guys, this has been amazing. I'm getting so much good stuff out of here on TikTok tonight. I really appreciate you. Um, oh, that's great. So serotonin, making my bed first. Thing, so serotonin says making my bed first thing in the morning keeps me, keeps me up, keep, keeps me up. Yeah, absolutely. Um, absolutely. So do you know what that does by achieving something early in the morning gives you a win for the day, gives you momentum for the rest of the day. So that's why getting up early really works for me. Um, and try it on, just try it on. Um, so it's worth, worth having. I mean, if you can get up early, it's fantastic. Actually, 5am is a wonderful time. It's so quiet. It's great. Um, 5 a.m. I love this. Mobo said 5 a.m. is funny for me. Then I go back to bed. This is so good. I'm. Um, do you know what? I'm hoping this really works. Um, in terms of the of, of the of the um 
what do you call it of the, of the audio version and the and the youtube version we'll see what happens with the views um and so maybe what we'll do is get you a bit more involved TikTok. um this has been great you've been my co-host tonight is there any questions here from TikTok on on the score model or anything else you want to ask that's related to personal development ask away um let me know um but yeah um so kimberly thank you tonight for being so honest about where your journey is um and you're on the podcast it's on the podcast now forever um so you know it's been noted um and you know what i applaud you for that because we've all got our own problems everybody's got problems um i don't care who you are um you could be a multi-millionaire multi-billionaire it doesn't matter you've all got problems everybody's got problems it's just how we face them and they're our responsibility to face and to grow from those problems i know it's hard it's difficult when i had depression or mum passed away they're very difficult things life life will kick you in the balls punch you in the face and um you've just got to keep moving forward and I always think about coaching and self-development as preparation when life comes this comes your way right um you know it's so so difficult you know so you need to prepare need to prepare you need to put yourself you need to put yourself in the best place possible when life comes along so you can do the best bit possible um so guys thank you thank you so much have we come to the end i think we have i just want to say a massive thank you to all of you that have checked in today all of you on TikTok that start asking some fantastic questions thank you for um lee and ryan i'm going to give a shout out to them for always supporting me on the podcast all the love that i've got on TikTok, all the love across social media all the subscribers i appreciate you all for creating this amazingly positive space on social and across the pop the platforms and across the podcast because i've got a feeling this is going to be a great great year for the podcast and it's only possible for you so please don't forget to like follow share don't forget to like like and share this with all your friends and don't please don't forget to do that because i can't do this without you i do need you to help i do need you to grow to ten thousand followers on TikTok and across all platforms it'd be great to have ten thousand followers across all platforms that'd be fantastic i would appreciate that because the more we can do this um you know we can the more we can do is the better right that'd be amazing so um guys that's been it so what do we do at the end oh okay and um, what are the big takeaways so guys actually i'm gonna ask you so at the end of our podcast we usually say what are the takeaways so guys on TikTok, what's been your biggest takeaway from today's conversation i'm going to say that again today what's been your biggest takeaway from today's conversation pop it in the chat and i'll give you a shout out if you give me a takeaway I will shout out on the podcast. So what I mean by takeaways, what have you learned from today and what are you going to implement as we go as you go forward? When you leave this podcast today, what are you going to do to improve your life? Um, that's really what, we, what, what I want. So Kimberly said change. Okay, what specifically are you going to change, Kimberly? What specifically are you going to change? Let me know in the, in the comments. I'll, I'll shout you out again. I think that's a really good thing. Change is always scary, always challenging, right? What has it been for me? For me, it's actually managing to do this podcast without Lee and Ryan and actually going into my fear and actually getting it done, right? Even though I thought, oh, should I do it? Yes, I'm going to do it. So that was my thing today. That's my big takeaway. Um, Mobo says, the to-do spirit, you will feel better. That's his big takeaway. Serotonin. Um, these are the kind of people I can learn from and I need to listen more. Thank you so much, Serotonin. I appreciate you. Please go back, download the podcast. There's loads. We've got this. This is the 173rd episode of the podcast. Would you believe that? 173rd episode. There are tons and tons and tons and tons of content. Go download the back catalog. Let me know what you think. I've got a newsletter in the bio as well. Please go and join that as well. This has been a bit of a promotional bit on the podcast, but I really, I am appreciative. I just want to know how, how much I appreciate you all for joining um, and really making this an amazing show today and uh i want real hopefully lee and ryan will be back next week and we'll still include you TikTok. we always include you TikTok as part of the conversation um you always say so tell your friends tell your family get on TikTok, get on this live get a shout out on the podcast and so you can get a mention on the podcast that'll be out on there on the internet forever it's going to be out there forever it's going to be on the youtube so just watch join share like all that stuff so we can tell the algorithms to come here tell the algorithms that you need to be here to get positivity to make this life better so we can all help each other as human beings and have a positive space we can share our challenges and we can share our wins and i think that we're done 
So guys, I'm just going to sign off now. So this has been Inspiration Nation. Thank you for joining. Thank you for listening. Please don't forget to download all the episodes and watch out for our next episode, which is going to go up next week. So thank you so much. And I've got one list to say. It says Inspiration Nation, and we'll catch you guys later. So I want to know now what's your biggest takeaway. Don't forget to hashtag it with Inspiration Nation in the comments below and make sure you commit to action. Thank you for checking out. So you can catch all our other Inspiration Nation podcast episodes right over here. So go check them out. And also, don't forget to subscribe because that will tell you when your next video goes live by you hitting that amazing bell. So until next time, it's Inspiration Nation, and I'll see you right over there.